In this video, we're going to take a look at how to improve the layouts of old blog articles with great content, but they need to be updated for 2016. We're going to do some things with layouts. We're going to organize some of the content. We're going to add videos and pictures and work with the layout in a WordPress builder. We're going to be using Divi on the Divi theme, actually, not just the Divi Builder plugin. And we're going to see if we can spruce these up and actually make them more useful for our visitors. Hey, this is Brett, and I am working to revive some very old blog articles. Well, I say revive, they've continued to get traffic for years. There's two of them, one from 2008 and one from 2009. And it's 2016 as I create this video, these articles are still bringing traffic into my website. I have worked to evolve them over time, and I've posted a number of different updates. Uh, along the way. One was just a short little article and then one became uh, something of a monster of an article with updates uh, every other year or so. And there's multiple updates because there's updates for uh, two or three different software programs or online uh, systems within this blog article. But if you look at it, it's ugly. This article visually is very unappealing. And I'm filming this right now in 2016 on a Mac uh, you can just imagine how ugly this probably is on a smartphone or a tablet or anything else. It's ugly. It needs some work. I need to refresh this. There's still some good and useful information in this article, but I need to uh, spruce it up a bit. And that's kind of what I'm working on. Today I was sitting at the pool, didn't have Wi-Fi at this particular pool, and so I had copied... Uh, some of the text from each of these and I was reworking the text a little bit making some updates and I created uh, a to-do list as well and I've got some some things to do so I'm capturing this real quick and I'm going to show some before during and after videos of where uh, these articles go and what I might be able to do to improve these in the future so we'll get started okay so step one edit those articles Go back and read them and rewrite them like you've never seen them before. Now, when I did that, there were a lot of things that came to mind. One, I'm not the same writer that I was eight years ago when I first wrote these, but I also did change them a bit over time. They still needed a lot of editing. And think about your audience today. Think about the people that are visiting your sites today and what they're looking to read and what they're looking for. This is not a fully edited document yet, so this isn't the example we're going to have in the final uh, setup, but there's a lot to be edited here. For one thing, as you look at this text, there's a lot of it. Now that's great from a, an SEO perspective. It does help bring people to the site, all of this text, but it's not easy to read. There aren't good signposts, and there aren't a lot of good things to help people see the tidbits, and I'm purposefully scrolling back and forth through the document because that's what a lot of people will do on a smart device, on, a, on an iPhone, on an Android, on a tablet, on an iPad. They'll scroll through until they see something, a signpost, that allows them to zoom in and say, oh, I'm interested in that one. And maybe they are in this or not. And if you'll notice in this particular signpost, it says negatives of cloud bookkeeping systems. You have to be online all the time. So that kind of gives them the tip right away. But one thing that you might notice that I can see right now is as I scan through this paragraph, I see this, this word 3G. Now, this was important eight years ago. 3G was the thing. But in 2016, 3G is a negative thing. That doesn't necessarily make sense anymore. So I need to relook at this paragraph. Uh, in this particular case, I am talking about history. But this might turn some people off if they don't get the context of this particular signpost. The information that I have in here could be useful for 2016, but if they see, see something in here that makes them think that this article is too old or out of date, they're going to skip the good stuff. So I need to reorganize this a little bit, take out the things that make it look dated uh, that are next to the things that they still need. So I've got some work to do here. I need to slim down this text and make it more consumable. If we look at the actual article, this is not very consumable. That's a lot of text. Nobody's going to want to read that kind of text these days. Now, I will point out that this theme uh, is different than the theme that I wrote this on originally. It was presented differently originally. It wasn't quite this ugly, and things have changed and evolved. There used to be different videos. Some of those have been taken out as I've started the editing, 
So I've got a lot of work to do here to, to uh, tune this up and revitalize it. Good information, but the average viewer is going to be completely turned off by the layout, and that's what we're here to fix. Next, we want to have an idea of what we're going to put on this new document when we have it. And I've gone into Workflowy, and I found uh, a number of different videos that I want to add to the site. I've actually found some video playlists that cover uh, several different aspects of the topics that I'm covering with FreshBooks, and we can see that list here. If you're not familiar with Workflowy, it's a task management, uh, not quite a full project management, but a task management uh, system. It works on both browsers as well as on smartphones, and it's super, super handy. Uh, it's got a free plan in case you're interested. I'll mention it somewhere so that you can find the details if, if you like. And once I have the videos, I need to find a way to put them in there. So we're going to take a look at what this post looks like in the editor. So I'm going to come in and edit the post. Now, normally you think WordPress editor, no big deal, uh, but we're using Divi on this theme. So we can turn no big deal, this old fashioned looking uh, blog post with lots and lots of details into something that is much more interesting and can become a much bigger deal. So I'm going to copy all of uh, all of this. That's more of a precaution because Divi makes it easy to simply switch to the Divi builder which has an editor included in it. So I'm going to do that uh, and at this point all of that text should be within the text editor that Divi provides. And just to lock it all down save and exit. Actually, I'm going to label this original blog text and just so that I can uh, recall it. And that shows up now in this little widget. So it's that entire blog article is now held in a widget. And I'm going to add all sorts of different types of widgets and layout options throughout this, including some of those videos that I mentioned and we'll intersperse those with the content where they need to go. So I've got these videos, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're going with this, I'm going to add a row, and I'm gonna make this row full width, and now I can come in and I can choose which, now I could just use another text editor if I like, or I can add a single video or a video slider. In this case, I'm going to add a video slider. It's not actually one of my favorite or preferred ways of, of adding video with Divi, but I want to show you what it looks like. So we do this one video at a time. So I'm going to go back to Workflowy. I'm going to pull up uh, my first playlist, which are some getting started videos within a playlist, three videos that are all getting started. Pull those up on YouTube because I want the individual videos. I don't want the playlist. I want the uh, all three videos, or each of the three uh, videos within this list. So the first one is Say Hello to FreshBooks Cloud Accounting. Can open that video in its own separate link. And I don't want to watch the video, that's not uh, my intent here. I do want to grab the specific link just for that video. And I'll walk back into my post, add my video in there. I'm going to give it a label, which I'm just going to copy and paste the title of this video as the label. And again, that's just so that I can recognize it. There we are. There's the one that I just added. And I'm going to add a second video for each one of these. that either. I'm going to show you, give you the aha moment of as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it in just a second after we get that third video uh, loaded in here. Again, we'll add the admin label. Save. I've got one more getting started video. Tab, pause the video. Oops. These are mostly just ads in some ways, but they have some 
useful information that we definitely want to share to people that need to get the general gist of things. Oops, put that in the wrong spot. Let's put that in the admin label. Track your time. Okay, so we've we've added these real quick. And if we wanted to, we could change the order by dragging and dropping those videos around. I'm gonna save and exit. And I'm gonna move this particular row up on top to provide a video introduction. We're gonna do a lot more reorganizing. I just wanna show you a little bit about what this looks like. I'm gonna hit update to save our work in this post. This is a blog post, not a page. And I'm going to view the post. And we'll see a couple slight changes. At the top, the first video in that playlist now shows up as a video, and we have thumbnails for the other two. If someone wants to watch either the other two, they can click on that and see the next video, and then it launches into our blog article. So we've already started to make some big changes. We're going to add lots more uh, all throughout the uh, this particular blog post and make this a lot more interesting, giving people the information they need when they need it. Okay, so I've teased you by showing you just a little bit of what we're going to do. We added some videos at the top, and we still have all of our text, the blog article, the stuff that is the SEO juice that brings people into this particular page. We need to make sure that people are finding what they're looking for when they get there. That's kind of the second component to optimization, not just create some fishing hook that or a lure that's irresistible, but isn't what someone's looking for, but making sure that you know, when somebody's done a Google search, they've come to your site, they actually do find what they, they were looking for, and we make it easy for them to find that. So we need to do another step. We need to go in and, and break up this blog article. We don't want to get rid of copy, but we don't want to just have one great big long dump of text either. So we want to have something that we can work with, both in the editor here, and also something that will match up with what people see on the site. Okay, so we're going to come in and do some work on this text. So let's expand this. We're going to click on what looks like a hamburger menu. This opens up the editor. And we're going to take a look at the visual editor in this particular case. We're going to come through and we're going to pull out each one of these sections and turn it into a proper drag and drop section within the Divi editor. And there are some ads and images in here too. Most of those need to go completely. Um, they're outdated and need to be uh, just removed or up, uh, replaced or a number of different things. This uh, blog was written years ago. Uh, some of those are actually manual uh, Google ads in there. And uh, uh, they just, we've got some cleanup to do. It's an old article. It was a good one, but an old one. So we're gonna come through. And at first I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna get uh, uh, some of this going here and I'm gonna remove uh, this H&R block ad initially. I'm just gonna delete that right on out of there. And I'm gonna, there's a Zamanta thing in there with some related articles, which I'm gonna get rid of as well. Uh, to my knowledge, I'm not even sure if they're doing that type of thing anymore. But I don't need it on the site. And I want to grab this one little tax filing update section. I'm going to hit, I'm going to cut it out of there and save and exit out of this item. And we're going to rebuild this in reverse order from the, the ground up. So I'm going to paste the text back in there. I am going to come in and we're going to start standardizing some of this. So this was set as a strong, I'm going to make it an H3. give uh, this a little bit of organization from a looks perspective too with a theme. I'm going to call this one the admin label for the tax filing update. And now we can see it there. And when I hit update for the blog article and view the post and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the tax filing update, the ad's gone away, uh, but nothing else has really changed. Now, I'm not gonna make you watch me do all this copy and editing work. I'm going to pause the recorder for now and come back and show you uh, where we are after we've done that boring copy paste work. Boring, but essential. 
Okay, so I've taken that original article and I've broken it up into a whole bunch of text widgets, editable text widgets. And I've titled each one of those so that I can see them easily. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of layout work yet. This is all just groundwork still. And I haven't even thrown in my new edits or a lot of my new videos, new links, all sorts of things still need to be added here. I'm just getting the clay organized such that I can start sculpting this page. And as I broke out each one of those updates, I made sure that they had good uh, headings on them. And I made sure there was no garbage code in there and all sorts of other things while I was working through this. And as I read these now, I can kind of see that there were a bunch of updates through some of the years for different programs. And that's kind of a history thing. There's some useful nuggets in there, but that's all history. So I think I'm going to create one big history section on this page. And then I'm going to have another a few sections that are more functional showing what's going on today. That way people will easily be able to get to the good stuff, the things that they're looking for currently, and if they want to go back and look at the history or see how e either of these evolved, they can, and along the way I won't lose any SEO juice for losing or deleting that history and getting rid of it in the edits. I'll probably also make the page look a lot cleaner when I move those history items into wherever it is that I'm going to put them. And that's something for a future lesson. So have it. We'll see how this turns out. Now, and just in case you want to see the actual page, the page really hasn't changed too much in looks yet. It's still just a whole bunch of text. We'll be fixing that when we get to the layout section in just a bit. So still got a lot of work to do, but now it's starting to look like something that we can start to move around, drag and drop, and just give you a teaser of what's to come even change the organization of the way these uh, items are laid out. I can put them into columns, uh, split it up half and half if I wanted to. And just an example, I could take some of these and I could stack them in different ways over here and change the, the layout uh, of these quite a bit. I'm not going to uh, do that just yet, but as you can see, we're going to have a lot of powerful options coming up very soon. Okay, so I've been working through the layouts, and as I scroll through the page, I see that things have changed quite a bit. I still have a long ways to go, but it's a lot different than it used to be. I still have almost all the same content on the site, and I've edited quite a bit and have a lot more editing to continue to perform here, but it's coming along. I've got a lot more videos in here. I've got some new images. I've got some testimonials got some areas where I expand and contract uh, key pieces of information. I've got a little greeting statement up here explaining the genesis and, and uh, ev evolution of this particular uh, article into a page. When we look at things behind the scenes, we can see some of the new layout options. I can move things around and uh, work on this however I might want. I've had added lots and lots of sections here and have a lot more work to do. But now as things grow, it won't grow in a chaotic linear fashion. I'll be able to uh, figure out exactly where every little thing goes, where it needs to fit, where it fits in the pie, and it'll be easier for people to find the information they're looking for too. One of the things I've yet to add is I'll be adding some quick menu options such that people can hit button or a link and rapidly jump down to different sections of this particular page. It'll be like a one page uh, sort of slider in that regards. And towards the bottom as well, I've added a new section that lists out uh, a number of alternative tools. I've got two in there so far, actually three, um, but I'm going to add many more uh, to that list as well. And things will continue to evolve. So I will uh, do some more heavy lifting and show you some more results here shortly so that you can get an idea of where this type of thing can go. If you'd like help with this yourself or don't want to do this type of heavy living, lifting and would like to hire us, uh, please drop by our homepage or send us a quick email or phone call to Softwit Media and we'd be happy to take a look at the content that you've got and how we might help improve the layout and get things going for you.